Yeah, I'm Christian. I work with uh, the company uh, Grundfos. And uh, 10 years ago, we were one of the founding companies uh, in, in the STEM consortium. We wanted to step up on uh, technology management, and there was an opportunity to, to engage with university and other companies uh, in, in those days. So there are, there are more types of radio, but there are two specific ones that we have taken home and are using uh, still today in, in Grundfos. One of them is uh, road mapping, so implementing road mapping and uh, putting that into a, a regular annually event. Uh, that is something that we have taken home from STEM that creates value in the company. The other one is a scoring tool methodology that helps us evaluate the value of the technology we develop, and, uh, develop in Grundfos. And then there's a third one that is more, more holistic, and that is how actually to do good collaboration between companies, between organizations, between uh, universities and, and companies. And the way that STEM have been working with this uh, and the way STEM has been set up has really taught me and, uh, and colleagues in Grundfos that if you want value out of that collaboration, it's not about conferences and networks, that's fine. Then you, then you listen and then you have to interpret and absorb it yourself. But if you really work together and co-create as we do in STEM, then the value is much higher and the outcome is much higher and the, the limit uh, or the boundary to actually go and implement it is much lower. I would say if you really want to experience that co-creation and doing projects together and if you want, if you have a hunch that you have a problem or something that you could do better in your company but you are not super sharp on formulating that problem, STEAM is a really good place to come because you can also come with your problems and formulate them together with peers and then have researchers help you solve them.